Analysis of Man City 4 Spurs 2. Man City played the first half at a very slow tempo, playing some very safe passes and simply looking to keep the ball to try and stop Spurs having counter-attacks. This overly cautious approach to build-up actually ended up costing them for the first goal, with Ake booting the ball backwards to Edison rather than playing forwards and Edison then misplacing a pass under Spurs' press. Man City also refused the opportunity to play vertical passes into Haaland and Alvarez's runs in behind. The quicker tempo of City in the second half was illustrated by the fact they had nine dribbles in that half compared to just three in the first half. Their wingers, especially Mares, were much more aggressive in trying to beat their men and City overall were willing to play more risky and vertical passes. But Spurs' issues remain in, with their ability to keep the ball and construct attacks on the back. Only Romero and Bentancur showed sufficient class under pressure. This lack of control and ended up in Spurs losing three goals in just 12 minutes. Conte needs to start Bentancur with Basuma and drop the technically limited Hoiberg and sign Pedro Porro as an upgrade on Emerson at right wing back.